Hi, hi. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Great. I'm going to get the list to call attendance. Just a second. Okay, let me see. We are nine right now. I'm going to call you. You tell me present as soon as I call your name. Bella Lisbeth. Carlos Roberto. Darling Jasmine. Present teacher. Nice. Denis Adonai. Edgar Eduardo. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Okay. Herman Agustin. Present teacher. Jessica Raquel. <coughs> Carla María. Present. Kelly Marcela. Marcelo Vladimir. Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Ok. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Nice. Moisés Elías. Present teacher. Okay. Norma Maritza. Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Ronald Josué. Ronald. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Nice. Tamara Lisset. Waldemar Alexander. Present teacher. Walter Antonio. No here, Walter. Okay. Well, nice to see you. This is our class number. A ver, what number is it? 19, right? This is our class number 19. And today we are, well, remember in this unit, we're talking about money, right? We're talking about accounting, vocabulary. And today we have a new, a new grammar structure that is, Conditional, we're going to talk about conditional type zero. Yeah, that's conditional type zero. I'm going to share. How to use zero conditional? That's the that's the topic, right? How to use zero conditional, and the objective participants will be able to complete some statements using zero condition. So that's what you're going to be doing today. Okay. Well, let's talk about money, right? Money, money. What is a the vocabulary we have been talking about, we have been using with these uh, sentences. We have liability, 
We have assets. Remember, we were talking about that last week. A balance sheet. Hmm. We have balance sheet again. Assets. Shareholders. Equity. Oh, Chase is another word for well, liabilities, right? Um, David. David again. Credits. Yeah, okay, so that is a review of vocabulary from the unit. And we have some sentences. Liabilities are recorded on the right side of the balance sheet, while assets are listed on the left. We study the balance sheet carefully to see if the assets exceeded the liabilities and shareholders equity. We're using the vocabulary in context, right? She recorded the purchase of the new laptops as a debit entry. She realized that the total debits didn't equal the total credits. So she had to check each entry all over again. So that's what an accountant should do, right? Okay, now we have more words related to money. So we have the investing, I don't know, investing, profit, yeah. And here we have decrease, revenue, financial crisis, business, capital, a freelancer, and done. Okay, in order to decide if the company was worth investing in, they wanted to look at the profit it had been making over the previous years. In order to decide if the company was worth investing, investing in, they wanted to look at the profit it had been making over the previous year. Our company has experienced a decrease in revenue due to the financial crisis. Yeah. Decrease revenue. Okay, you're going to tell me later on about that. He couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So he decided to work as a freelancer for the time being. Okay. Um, remember the words I'm underlining, or oh, I have underlined, are the new ones, right? Huh? Those are the new ones. What is the meaning of investing? What does it mean? Investing. Mm -hmm. Who knows? What's the meaning of the word investing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening. classmates. Investing Good is evening. invertir, inversión. Uh -huh, exactly, when you have some money, right? And you put it in a project. For uh, the purpose of investing is to improve uh, the quantity of money, right? That you're going to receive. And that takes us to the next word, profit. What is profit? Mm -hmm. Ganancia. Finance. Yes, that's the money. Imagine if you invest okay, $1,000, what you expect is to get a profit of at least at least $200, right? So like that, the amount of money is growing. Okay, our company has experienced a decrease. What is decrease? What's the meaning of the word decrease? Mm -hmm.
Perdidas, podría decirse. Perdidas, sí. Eh, yes, yes. Ok, Marcelo. Ajá, decrease es cuando baja, ¿verdad? En vez de cuando subir la ganancia. Ajá, es, es the opposite of increase. Okay. Right? So you have decrease, the opposite of decrease will be increase. And the opposite of profit is loss. Right, that's the opposite. Okay, what is the meaning of the word revenue? What's revenue? Mm -hmm. You can tell me. Revenue. Can tell me what is revenue? Is the similar uh, profits and uh, teacher in ganancias? Mm -hmm. I am going to read a definition income, especially when of a company or organization and of a substantial nation. In Spanish, es ingreso, el rédito. Right? What is rédito? What is the meaning of rédito? Ah, it takes us to words that even in Spanish are like, uh -huh, what is it, right? But check. A revenue is the total amount of money brought in by a company's operation. Measure over a set amount of time. So, todo el, todo el dinero que entra, no importa si es ganancia o si es la, la misma, el mismo dinero que se invirtió, todo eso es revenue, ¿verdad? Todo que es como... Digamos, yo invertí mil dólares y, y al final todo lo que entró de regreso en la venta fueron mil quinientos. Entonces, todos esos mil quinientos son el revenue. ¿Cuál es el profit? The profit will be el qué. ¿Mm? If I have the revenue I got was $1,500. I invested $1,000. What is my revenue? $5,000. Uh -huh. The profit sería $500. Pero el revenue es el total, ¿verdad? El total de dinero que entra. Independientemente, de, o sea, ahí va incluido todo, ¿verdad? Todo lo que se gastó y lo que se ganó. ¿okay? O lo que se invirtió, digamos, y lo que se ganó. Entonces, eso ah. todo, de todo el entrado total es el, el revenue. What is a financial crisis? What is the meaning of financial crisis? Mm -hmm. Take the example, our company has experienced a decrease in revenue, o sea, que la, la, las entradas de la empresa han bajado due to the financial crisis. ¿Les trae eso algo a la memoria? 2020, ¿verdad? The pandemia brought up a, a financial crisis or provoke 
provoked a financial crisis that of course caused a decrease in the revenue in many companies, right? And that made the companies have a loss instead of a profit. So imagine the companies were investing five, $1,000 and invest instead of getting that $1,500, they were getting back 500 Yeah, in that case, instead of having a profit, they were having a loss. That's why at the end, a couple of months later, many companies had to, to reduce personnel or, or to close, right? Now, let's see the next sentence. He couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. Uh, he didn't start, he, did, he couldn't start a business because he didn't have enough capital. So he decided to work as a freelancer for the time being. Mm -hmm. So what is the meaning of freelancer? Business, I know you know, but what's the meaning of freelancer? What is freelancer? Mm -hmm. Los emprendedores. ¿Han oído ustedes de gente que se tira a trabajar eh, sola eh, en diferentes empresas, haciendo diferentes eh, tipos de negocios? Un freelancer que envía presenter, eh, que envía an accountant. Hay right? people that eh, go and work for a company, but eh, what can I say? Like a part, not being part of the employees of a company, but people that work on their own. So, so you say, well, I am an accountant, but I'm going to work on, as an independent accountant, right? Of people that are like making presentations for different things, they are freelancers. So freelancers, before it was just like presenters for, editorial something, but now freelancer can be any job. But somebody that works in an independent way, making a job that could be directly connected to a company. But in this case, they are like out of the company, right? What is capital? What's the meaning of the word capital? Mm -hmm. El capital es el monto con el que va a dar inicio a un negocio, uh, empresa, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Just the money, right? The money that yes. you have for beginning, for beginning a business. Okay, now what is the meaning of asset? Yes. What's an asset? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of us? Es, es todo lo que tiene, teacher, todo lo que posee, los activos. Okay. Yes, everything a company owns very good, including cash. Yeah. Amounts receivable can be money a company is going to receive all the properties and goods, right? So all those things are uh, assets. Everything the company has, right, or owns. What are liabilities? Mm -hmm.
todos los pasivos de la empresa, las deudas, las responsabilidades que pagar. Exactly. Everything that a company owns. So it's the opposite, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Like loans. ¿Se acuerdan qué significa loans? Sí. What is the meaning of the word loans? Préstamos. Mm -hmm. Los préstamos. Sí. Exactly. And mortgages. What's the meaning of the word mortgages? Hipotecas. Las hipotecas, exactly. So all those things that the company owns to others are the, the liabilities, right? Now, what is a balance sheet? Oh no, you can give me a definition. Mm -hmm. Donde, donde se ve reflejado todo lo, digamos, la parte de inversión, la parte de ganancia, para medir un resultado, pienso yo. Si Así. se ganó o se perdió. Uh -huh. So check. The balance sheet is a document, right? That record, that records, records, vamos a ponerle con, con el estrés, pero en Acá. Porque en este caso eh, va a ser un verbo. Right? Not, you keep a record that you record. Right? So it's a document that records a company's assets. Ya dijimos que son assets. And liabilities at a certain moment in time. Eh, we were saying one of these days that you make a balance sheet every okay. Every month or every year, no right? How often do you make a balance sheet? What's the frequency? You make you make a balance sheet monthly or once a year? In the actual and uh it's a month, teacher. A month. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In the past, it used to be uh, every six months or once a year, right? But now yeah. it is very necessary to keep our, a monthly record. So if we're talking about a public company, it also shows the shareholder's equity. The shares, what is the shareholder's equity? That's the, the uh, equity is like capital, right? It's the money that the shareholders, los socios, have, right? So it, it shows also that and how much they own. What are the things that the shareholders uh, possess, right? So it, the balance sheet includes that, not only the, asset, the assets and the liabilities of the company, but also the equity of the shareholder, right? So it is more complex. Uh, the balance sheet is based on the accounting equation. And the accounting equation is this. Assets equal liabilities. ¿Qué eran liabilities? Vamos a ver. De acuerdo. A ver, taking you back. A liability is everything the company owes to everybody, right? And the assets is everything the company owns. So we say assets, and this is the, the account, accounting equation, assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. See? And the balance sheet is important for potential investors because they can see how the company is doing. So if they see uh, the balance sheet, they can say, hmm, this company 
is making money, is getting a profit. I can invest in this company. Or if not, they say, hmm, no, they did. The profit that this company is producing is not that it's not very good. So I don't want to invest here. Right? Any question up to here? Not teacher. Okay, I'm moving. Now, what is capital? What's the definition for capital? Who can tell me? My dear, my Definition, cash and funds, that's the capital. Remember, do you remember what is the meaning of the word fund? Lo vimos la semana pasada. ¿Se acuerdan? Todos los fondos que tiene la compañía. Los fondos, exacto. Exacto. And, but also machinery, la maquinaria, and tangible assets. ¿Qué significa tangible? Hay otra palabra rara. <ríe> A ver, ¿qué significa tangible? Machinery, ya dijimos, maquinaria. What what is the meaning of tangible? Los activos tangibles, todo aquello que se puede tocar y contar, los inventarios. Ex uh -huh. Exacto, lo que se puede tocar, ¿verdad? Sí. Tangible assets that can contribute to earning more money. De todo lo que nos sirve para conseguir ganar más dinero, that is part of the capital. For example, computers vehicles, right, and any other things. Uh, for example, if if you have to, if you make clothes, the machinery or that everything that you will need for the confection or for doing the clothes, right, that you need. Intangible assets, for example, expertise or reputation. So if you say, my company's expertise is making t-shirts. That expertise or that reputation is money, right? Because the people will look for your company because they know their reputation. So if your, if your company has a good reputation, you have money there, right? But it says intangible assets like expertise or reputation will not be considered capital, right? Okay, what is cash flow? ¿Se acuerdan del cash flow? What is cash flow? Remember that cycle? Es todo, todo el efectivo que se mueve, teacher. Exactly, exactly. Is the money coming in and going out, right, in the company. So it talk, uh, we talk here about the inflows and outflows of the company. Now, what is payroll? What is the meaning of the word payroll?
what is payable? La, la, la planilla de, digamos, de empleados del sueldo para pagar. Exact, exactly, exactly. There you have all the employees, right? It's a list of all companies' employees and their salaries, right? The word payroll also refers to the total amount of money paid by a company to the employees. See? So if you have, um, how can I say, a lot of money, right? You have a lot of money there and you, you pay that money to the employees, that is the payroll. Every month people, uh, have to sign, right? Have to sign a payroll. A ver, accounting. What is the accounting period? Mm -hmm. Un periodo contable, generalmente, de acuerdo a las leyes, de un año. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's usually a year, right? That's the time period over which financial statements are produced. Okay. Who's an auditor? Who's an auditor? Also, usually a year in the revision or check the statements. One year. Mm -hmm. The auditor is the person, right? A person whose job is to evaluate accounting records in order to make sure they have been done properly. And to check if the company is being run. Inefficient. Hay auditores internos y externos, right? What is an intern auditor? Who can tell me? What's an intern auditor? Who knows? The companies have one. The companies have one intern auditor. But the one that goes from outside, that comes from Hacienda, we can say, is an extern auditor. But the purpose of the auditor is to evaluate the period, right? The accounting record of the company, right? To be sure that everything is running well. Es como el que controla lo que va haciendo el contador, right? Okay, what is a bookkeeper? Bookkeeper? Mm -hmm. What's a bookkeeper? Eh, pienso que es lo que nosotros llamamos como el diario, el libro diario de, el libro diario. de entradas para notar ahí las entradas y salidas. Exactly. And the, the, the person who keeps that book is the bookkeeper, right? Uh -huh. a, it's a person whose job is to record daily transactions, issue invoices, ¿Qué son invoices? Facturas. Las facturas, exacto. Mm -hmm. And complete payrolls. Ya dijimos que eran payrolls, ¿verdad? La planilla. Bookkeepers are usually supervised by accountants. Es, hoy le han cambiado el nombre y hoy le dicen el, es el accountant junior. Es el mismo que antes mantenía el nombre de bookkeeper. 
Bookkeepers are required to have less experience than accountants. And don't mean a degree in accounting. It's a bachelor, no problem, right? A high school student uh, that was studying accounting can be um, a bookkeeper or an accountant junior, as you prefer to call it. Any question? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Bye. Now I have some example sentences here for you to choose the best option. <laughs> what is the best uh, answer for each of them? Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're ready. In the number one, accountant and bookkeeper is similar. Mm -hmm. But remember that the bookkeeper is a junior, right? Okay. He doesn't need to have experience or he doesn't need either to have a, like a, a bachelor degree, can be a high school student, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a count out, letter B. They had to hear an account out. Exactly. Exactly. They need, uh, they had to hire an accountant. Jenny, uh, Jane is a bookkeeper, right? So she was not qualified. Okay. They, they needed an accountant to help Jane. What about the next one? A balance sheet. A balance sheet, very good. The balance sheet is an important accounting document showing a company's assets, liabilities, and the owner's equity. Okay, now later we have two more questions. The auditor was looking at the financial statements that the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different he then had to ask for a different set of financial statements. Letter A, income statement video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the auditor was looking at the financial statements that the company presented him when he realized he was actually interested in a different income statement period. A statement period or accounting period. It's this, the key. The key ah, okay, okay. 
Ajá, in a different. An accounting period. Ajá. An accounting period. Very good. And the last one, he was hoping to be able to raise enough. He was hoping to be able to raise enough to set up his own business in five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There be capital. Enough capital is. Nice. Okay. Well, that was all related to vocabulary. Now, let's talk about numbers, right? Because in the next document, you will need this vocabulary mm -hmm. and you will also need numbers. Check. Pay attention to how we read numbers in English, right? So you have 2, 42, 242 3242 3242 million yeah yeah mm -hmm. if we have only three zeros that will be three million two hundred forty two thousand but as we have three this is million okay now tell me how would you read this number how do you read this number who can tell me three hundred eighty Five. Exactly, 385. What about now? One. One thousand. Mm -hmm. Three hundred eighty-five. Wait. How would you read this? Two. Two thousand. This is two. Two million. Ah, uh, two million. Mm -hmm. One. One thousand eighty-eight. Thousand. One hundred thirty-eight thousand. Four hundred. Four hundred. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have two million one hundred thirty-eight thousand four hundred. Yeah. Two million one hundred. One hundred thirty-eight thousand four hundred. One hundred thirty-eight thousand. If we have like this. Yeah. We say two million one hundred thirty-eight thousand. Right? Pero two million one hundred thirty-eight thousand four hundred. See, and if we have this, how do you say that? Two thousand two hundred thirty-eight 
Mi. Uh -huh. Sí. 385, Mm -hmm. Any question? No. Okay. Now look at this. We have a consolidated uh, balance sheet. Pay attention to the current assets. The cash equivalents. We have a current assets January 31st, 2016 to January 31st, 2017. Then you have cash and equivalents one, a ver, 1K. 1,819 million. Yes? 1,819 million. And on January 31st, 2017, 1,611 million. So instead of increasing, it decreased, right? Total foreign assets in 2017, in 2016, 6,620 million. And in 2017, 6,480 million. Yeah. So the total assets is 8K. 8K. Mm -hmm. 8,400. Uh, 8, Four hundred thirty nine mm. million. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Two eight thousand four hundred thirty-nine million. Okay. Now look at the current uh, the current liabilities for the same period, right? 2016 to 2017. And you have accounts payable, nine. Thousand three hundred million total current liabilities nine thousand eight hundred thirty five million. What is the total liabilities? Mm -hmm. Nineteen nineteen thousand thousand uh, one hundred one hundred thirty five million exactly. Exactly. And then we have the stockholders equity, common stock, 870 million, right? 870 million. And capital surplus is 3,196 million. 3,000 196 million. And the total stockholder equity is four four thousand sixty six million. Right? Four thousand sixty six million. Actually, if I don't, I'm not going to. 4,066 million. So what you're going to do now, use your phone so you 
a calculator to get the total assets for 2017, the total liabilities for 2017 too, and the total stockholder equity. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to get those totals and then we'll check. Let me know when you're ready. A ver, one, uh, you have uh, current or uh, total assets, who can tell me? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, okay, I think so. Um, assets are the total is uh, two two thousand two sixty nine millions. Two thousand. Two thousand. Mm. The and total. Two the millions. Total. Two millions. Two two hundred fifty nine thousand. Okay, you know that, okay, check check this, check this amount. Check this example of the 2016, right? If you say okay. uh, 1,819 million plus, right? 6,620 million, that is 8,489 million. So what, what would we get? If we make a, an adding, an addition, right? Addition, as it says, suma. Ah, okay, yes. One, yes. 1,611 million plus 6,480 million. Hagan la suma.
you have what is the total last it's a eight mm -hmm. eight eight million eight millions ninety one thousand A very difficult teacher. <laughs> that is eight thousand. Eight thousand. Ninety one. Ninety one million. million. Exactly. Okay. Le decimos ocho mil noventa y un millones, right? Ocho mil noventa y un millones. So you eight, have eight, eight thousand. Eight thousand ninety one. Ninety one million. million. Now let's let's make the other addition. We have for four thousand four hundred eighty three plus nine thousand now nine thousand nine thousand nine thousand eight hundred sixty. Fifty-six million. Is a mala So you have four thousand four hundred eighty-three million, right? Plus nine thousand eight hundred fifty-six million, and that is. A ver, cuánto le dio. Yeah. For four thousand three hundred thirty nine million. Exactly. Exactly. Fourteen thousand three hundred ninety nine million. Million. Mm -hmm. Right. And the last one, we have a hundred sixty seven. Million plus two thousand five hundred eighty four million. Mm -hmm. Make another right. addition three thousand four hundred fifty one million. Exactly. Three thousand four hundred fifty one million. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Any question here? Puede repetir cómo se leen los totales, teacher, por favor. This is. Eight, eight, eight thousand nine ninety one million. Porque lleva seis ceros es mil. Okay. Y aquí tenemos fourteen thousand three hundred thirty nine three hundred thirty nine million. Fourteen thousand three hundred thirty nine million. Okay. Right here, three thousand four hundred fifty one million. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody has a question? I have a question, teacher. Tell me again. How do you say twenty? Twenty or twenty? Depending. Si usted lo quiere pronunciar como British, puede decir 20. 20. Si no, dice 20. Como American English, 20. Como, 20. como British, 20. Sí. Okay, American. 20. Sí. 20, okay. Como Amer eh, British English, es 20. 20. American English, es 20. Okay. Thank you, teacher. But the two are okay, right? Now, check this. 
what is or oh, how much, right? How much is the total of assets and liabilities? How much is the total of assets and liabilities? Okay. The total of assets is eight. Uh -huh. Eight thousand. Uh -huh. Right, right. Eight thousand. Ninety one million. Ninety one million. Very good. And the total of liabilities? Fourteen. Fourteen thousand uh -huh. three hundred thirty-nine million. million. Excellent. Now check the next question. If we add, remember, a la suma se dice addition, right? Addition. Entonces dice si sumamos, right? If we add. If we add eight hundred sixty seven thousand and two thousand five hundred eighty four million, it is what's the total? If we have if we add eight hundred sixty seven million plus two thousand five hundred eighty four million. The result is mm -hmm. what is the result? Three thousand three thousand four hundred fifty one million. Exactly. It's three thousand four hundred fifty one million. Excellent. Okay, very, very good. Now, let's go. We are going to move now. We are going to check uh, the structure for today, talking about conditionals. Conditionals. Conditional type zero. Or we call it also as zero conditional. El zero conditional es esta estructura, la más, es la más fácil, ¿verdad? When we use present and present, mm -hmm. ¿sí? Un conditional está formado por dos cosas. Uno, lo que le llamamos la if clause, ¿verdad? Y lo otro, lo que le llamamos result. Y aquí se puede dar eh, un orden diferente, pero si usted le cambia el orden, se lleva toda la oración completa, ¿verdad? Pues que estamos dividiendo en dos partes. Pues este es mi if clause y este es mi result. Puedo cambiar el orden completo y llevarme todo el result. Result para el principio. We have to even up prices y después poner el result. Independientemente del orden que usted le quiera dar, ¿verdad? No, no, no hay problema, no cambia. Usted le puede dar cualquiera del otro sorte. Poner primero el if close y después el result, o primero el result y después el if close. La única diferencia es esta. Que si primero pone el if clause, su oración va a llevar coma, ¿verdad? Que lleva coma. Pero si primero ponemos el result y el if va en medio, en este caso no se ocupa coma. Esa es la única diferencia. ¿Verdad? De ahí el orden no, no afecta. ¿Ok? Ahora, when do we use this zero conditional? We use it. When we know what happens if we do something, see, 
for example, in my case, I know that if I don't eat breakfast before eight in the morning, I get a headache. I know that. I know that happens. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I get a headache. Yeah. So that is when you get accustomed to drink coffee every day. If I don't take a nap in the afternoon, I feel tired in class. See, this is my if clause. And the result, it's something that you get if you don't do the other thing. If I go to bed after 1 a.m., I have problems to fall asleep, right? If I go to bed after 1 a.m., I have problems to fall asleep. Or oh, I have problems to fall asleep if I go to bed after 1 a.m. I feel tired in class if I don't take a nap in the afternoon. I get a headache if I don't drink coffee in the morning. I get a headache if I don't eat breakfast before eight. See, esto es lo que llamamos zero conditional. We have another uh, sentence here. And if, for example, if you don't want to use if, you can use when. So the meaning comes to be similar. When does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. If my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. My family goes to the bank if they need a loan. En este contexto, when and if have a similar meaning. Okay? They have a very, very similar meaning meaning. Now, look at the structure. We said we have if plus present, and then we have a comma, and the result in present. See? And we use this conditional when the result will always happen. So it's always like that. And I know that. So if, if I know that it will always happen, I use the zero condition. The if in this conditional can usually be replaced by when. And the meaning is the same, right? There is no difference in meaning. If water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. Yeah. It is always true. Yeah? There can't be a different result no different results. So I know perfectly. If water reaches 100 degrees, it boils. If it penetrates, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. See? That's true only for me. Uh, there are people that get sick if they drink milk. You say, if I drink milk, I get a stomachache. Y eso es cierto solo para esa persona, no para todo el mundo. Pero para esa persona, esto siempre es cierto. Right? Or for example, if you say, if I stay away all night, I feel tired the next day. Y alguien más podría decir, no, I can be awake all night long and I have no problem the next day. Entonces, decimos, esto es solo, siempre cierto para alguien, ¿sí? Esto es cierto para mí, probablemente para alguien más, no, right? So, but still true that I'm sick every time I eat peanuts, según el ejemplo, but if I eat peanuts, I'm sick. If I drink milk, I'm sick. So, esto es cierto para esta persona, no para otros, pero para esta persona siempre pasa, se siente cansado, se siente enfermo, si come penas. Maní, ¿verdad? Ok, now look. Again, going to the structure. If I don't eat breakfast, I get a headache. 
right? Present, present. If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. If I don't drink water before going to bed, I cannot sleep. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I have to drink water to go back to sleep. Sí, eso es cosa que le pasa a alguna persona y es cierto para esa persona en particular, aunque tal vez para alguien más. Right? I cannot sleep when I don't drink water before going to bed. I feel sleepy if I don't drink coffee in the morning. Lo que les decía, el orden puede cambiar, ¿verdad? Independientemente puede cambiar. Any question? Uh -huh. A ver, ¿qué les pasa a ustedes si no desayunan? ¿Qué les pasa? If I don't eat breakfast. No tenemos energía y tenemos mucha hambre. Exactly. <laughs> so you say, if I don't eat breakfast, I, I run it. out of energy. Right? I run, run out of energy. Uh -huh, Miguel? What no, happened? No, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. What happens to you if you don't drink coffee in the morning? If I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel asleep. I feel sleepy. Yes. If I don't, if I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel sleepy. Yeah. What happens if you don't drink enough water? If I don't drink enough water, what happens to you? O si toma mucho. <laughs> what happens to you if you drink too much water? Aquí estamos hablando de una estructura que, cuyo resultado siempre pasa si se da esa situación una y otra y otra y otra vez. Siempre el resultado va a ser el mismo, ¿verdad? Siempre. What happens if you drink too much water? I sleep very well, but... <laughs> If I drink more water, I don't sleep. You have to wake up to go to the restroom, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Mami sabe. What happens if people eat too much? Check. The result, if people eat too much, they get hot. They get mm. hot. Unless they exercise. <laughs> but, but, but they, they have to exercise a lot. If you touch a fire, ¿qué pasa? Si toca el fuego. Mm -hmm. What happens if you touch a fire? Huh? What happens if you touch a fire? I get burning. Mm -hmm. You get burning. You burn. get burned. Exactly. Yeah. People die if they don't eat. What happens if people don't eat for a long time? So they spend a lot of time not eating. People die. die. If you mix hydrogen and oxygen, what happens if you mix hydrogen and oxygen you get water okay eso es lo que dice la ciencia <laughs> what happens or what's the result if a snake is scared if they are scared they bite right if babies are hungry, ¿qué hacen? 
What do babies do if they are hungry? They cry. They cry. They cry. Yes, they cry. Y eso es algo que, que siempre pasa. Right? Algo que siempre, siempre pasa. Now, aquí está. You're going to work, eh, I'm going to send a couple of you in groups, and we are going to complete this exercise. I'm going to share. Me quedaré con algunos acá. And I'm going to send some of you to a group. And you're going to complete the sentences uh, with the, the correct form of the verb, right? Just a second. Ahí se las mandé las oraciones al chat de WhatsApp. And let's see. I'm going to make I'm going to make a couple of groups, right? So you go to the groups, you complete the sentences, and then I bring you back. Nos vamos a quedar con un grupo acá. So you continue working here. Vaya, ahí está. There you go. Join the rooms. Edgar, Jessica, Miguel, Moises, Waldemar, and Walter, you will stay here so you can work here, right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, le voy a hacer dos y las demás a ustedes, ¿les parece? <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Teacher. Yeah, I will share the screen so you can see. Hay que responderla, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Okay, we can start. Hola, hola. Hola. 
Ahí están. ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde están? No los veo. <risa> vale, you can begin. You can begin. Ahí. Number one. Number one is if I am way up late, I am late for work. Number two is my husband cooks. He burns the food. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, the first example in the exam aparece la misma oración. Entonces, así como lo dijo el compañero, está bien, pero solo aparece un espacio para responderla. Entonces, a mí, de todos los intentos que he hecho, ninguno me salió bien, porque no sé si solo es de poner la palabra ya escrita correctamente, la oración completa. No, tiene que poner la oración completa. ¿La oración completa? Sí. Ok, ya siempre sé. con la se con la coma y, y todo después del wake up en ajá sí con la coma y asegúrese de ponerle capital letter al, al principio y el punto al final ok thank you teacher y la, la respuesta siempre es en presente por ejemplo dice y yo estoy yo estoy tarde en el trabajo porque podría ser I will I will arrive late to work. Sí, sí se puede. Pero como ahorita el, el, lo que estamos ocupando es el zero. Oh. El zero es present, present. No, pero sí se puede. Ok. ¿Verdad? Okay. Perfectamente se podría. Si, eh, si estuviéramos con la opción de ocupe zero conditional o first conditional, sí podría. Porque el zero conditional es present, present pero el, el conditional type one es present future, ¿verdad? Entonces sí se podría. Pero aquí porque la instrucción es use zero conditional, entonces nos quedamos en present present. Ok, uh -huh. bueno. Perdón, Edgar, number two, estaba diciendo. If, no. is, if my husband cooks, he burns the food. Ajá. Teacher, costó hacer esa tarea. De verdad. Sí, hombre, esa, esa uno que, que le acaba de mencionar la compañera, híjole, le hice de todas las diez mil formas, mil sí, formas de ponerla. Y al final le salió... Y sí, así como la tiene, Ticha. Ah, va, okay. ok. Pero es que es bien engañoso eso, fíjese. Porque ¿Por usted nos da la guía, lo que estaba en el paréntesis, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ah, solo era de ponerlo. Yo para mí era fácil, pero no, al final era de usarla, o ra razonar bien lo que se tenía que hacer. Por ejemplo, Ajá. pero es que ahí dice make the zero condition. Yo creo que decía que poner el verbo correcto, no me recuerdo cómo decía. Ajá, eh, pero el verbo correcto es el, el verbo así en, en present. Uh -huh. Así es, teacher, por eso. Mire, ni trabajé toda la mañana, de verdad. <risa> Buscándole. Pues sí, lo tuve que hacer así, buscar, ves, como hasta ejemplo, buscaba. Y después, ah, ya entendí con lo que quieren aquí decir. Sí. Así sí. que ahí me fui ya. Es present, present. Sí, teacher. Vale, a ver, what is number three? Mm -hmm. If Julie don't wear, if Julie don't, 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 don't wear a ¿Cuál hat. ¿Cuál sería to... la tercera persona? If... 
get rid of Tercera persona. Ah, does, doesn't. Does, does, doesn't. Where? Exactly. <laughs> if you, if you doesn't wear. Doesn't wear. A hat. Exactly. If you doesn't wear a hat. She gets. She gets. Mm hmm she gets sunstruck. Ah, sunstruck. Es un golpe de calor. Uh, number four, teacher. If children, if children que ser... don't eat well, they aren't healthy. Exactly, exactly. Okay. What happens if you mix water and electricity? A shock. Mm -hmm. If you mix water and electricity, you get a get a shock. You get a shock. You get a shock. Exactly. If you mix water and electricity, you get a shock. If people people eat too many sweets mm -hmm. people eat if teacher cheap if people eat too many sweets they get fat. ¿Por qué con ese? Mm. Uh, I think she refer. Oh, mm -hmm. he, he. Pero he. dice people. If people mm. eat too many, they are get, get fat. People is plural, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, teacher. Entonces decimos, if people eat too many sweets, eat, sin S. Ah, uh, eat. Eat. Okay. If people eat too many sweets, they, they, they are. Mm, ¿Cuál es el verbo que vamos a usar? If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. Exacto. Como es get, no le, como es they, no le puedo poner S, ¿verdad? Porque ese es, eh, le ponemos S solamente para la tercera persona del singular. Pero para la tercera persona del plural, no. De acuerdo. Bueno, vámonos a la number seven. So, yeah, if you smoke, smoke, mm -hmm. you, if get you smoke. Smoke, uh, you get yellow finger. 
You get yellow fingers. Very good. Sean amarillos. Los dedos. Los dedos. Yo que tiene. No, no los dedos, pero también los pies. Yo pensé que decía lo. Sí. Ajá. What happens if you. Children teacher. If number eight. Children hmm. play outside the they doesn't get up overweight. Mm -hmm. If children play outside, they don't they don't they, they don't they don't. They don't get overweight. No se, no se engordan, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. No se engordan. Um, number nine, if you... If you ¿Cómo vamos a poner el verde? You eat. Mm -hmm. If you hit If you hit ice, ice What happens if you hit ice? Ice It It, 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 will... it melts if you hit ice, it melts. It smells. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number 10. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. He gets annoyed. <laughs> okay. Number 11. Yeah. I feel good the next day. I feel good the next day if I... I go. I am. I am to bed. I am good. If I go, le vamos a poner am solamente si mi opción del verbo en paréntesis es el to be, si no, no. Mm. ¿Ah? I go to be early. I go to bed early. I go to bed early. Okay, number 12, lots of people. Lots of people come. come. Yeah. Lots of people. Lots of people what? Come if Jenny has come. a party. Mm -hmm. Lots of people come if Jenny has, has a party. Has a party. Yeah. And the last one? She buys expensive clothes if she goes shopping. Excellent. Very good. Nice mm. stuff. Finish. We finished. Now I'm bringing everybody. In 30 seconds, they will be here.
Almost. Herman, pura vida. Hey, Moisés, pura vida. Un gusto, gusto, gusto verte. Vamos a ver hoy, sí. Everybody here, no, it's nice. Batu. Okay, well, I'm going to raise and you will come and tell me the examples. Uh -huh. Who wants to do the first one? Let's see. Herman? Um, if, if I wake up, I am, um, excuse me, if I wake up late, I am late for work. Uh -huh. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. Who's next, Herman? Um, is a is a husband cook he burns the food mm -hmm. if my husband cooks oops he burns the food okay number three tamara Teacher, tengo una duda, pero nosotros lo hicimos así. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she... Number three, if Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets... She gets a, sun, a sunstroke. Este es un golpe de calor. A sunstroke. Sí, she correcto. Gets a sunstroke. Very good. Yes. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets a sunstroke. Nice. Wait, wait. Now let's see. Jessica, number four. Okay, teacher. If children don't eat well, They aren't healthy. Yes. Mm -hmm. If children don't eat well, they aren't healthy. Very nice. Moises, number five. If you um if you mix mix or mix water uh, Electricity, <laughs> electricity. If you mix water and electricity, um, you get a shock. You get a shock, yes. If you mix the water and electricity, you get a shock. Great. What about number six? <laughs> if people? If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. Mm -hmm. If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. What? Great. Always. A ver, Kelly, do number seven. Kelly, Kelly. The microphone, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. Darling, do number seven.
Mm -hmm. Edgar, can you help me with number seven? If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. Uh -huh. Exactly. If you smoke. Get yellow fingers. Mm -hmm. Gabriela, can you do number eight? Gabi, Gabi. Um, if children play the outside, they don't get overweight. Exactly. They don't get. Mm -hmm. Children play outside, they don't get overweight. Very nice. Number nine, Carla Maria. Carlita. Here, Norma, are you home? Norma, Norma. Not here. Teacher, en, en yes. esa no, no entendí en, en español cómo sería la traducción porque no es bien local. ¿Qué puso, ¿Qué puso usted? Es que decía si tú te calientas con el hielo o si el hielo te calienta. ¿no? Si usted o, calienta hielo, ¿qué pasa? Se derrite. Okay. Uh -huh. Se derrite. Ni ahí se va. Lo van a buscar para la NASA. Sí. <ríe> Imagínense que lo único que tiene es hielo, no hay agua, ¿verdad? No hay agua, entonces saca el hielo, lo quiebra, lo pone en el fuego, en una ollita, ¿no? y, y a ver qué va a pasar. Se derrite. Al final va a tener agua hervida. <ríe> se va a tardar más, pero se derrite. Uh -huh. Bueno. Yeah. Okay. Ergato number ten. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. An annoyed. ¿Qué significa annoyed? Annoyed. No, I don't know, teacher. A new word for me. Annoyed es molesto. Mm -hmm. Usted dice, si le hablo a John, se, se va molesta. a molestar. Mm. Sí. Y como okay. es tercera persona, le vamos a poner ese. Gets. He gets annoyed. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. Si le hablo a John, se molesta. ¿Ya? Yeah. What about number 11? Miguel. Um, I feel good. The next day, if I if I go to bed early, exactly, I feel good the next day if I go to bed. Early. Yes, nice, nice. Number twelve, Gab. Lots of people. Gabi, Gabi. Um, Lots of people. Number 12. Of people came. In present. Sería. Así como se. Como se. Mm -hmm. Come. 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 Mm -hmm. If Jenny has a party. Exactly. Exactly. Lots of people come if Jenny has a party. Yes. And Jessica, do the last one. 
Ishi. This is the Jessica. Not Jessica. Se fue para el party de Navidad. <ríe> Se fue a preparar el pavo en Navidad. Ay, falta cuánto. Casi una semana para el chompipe. Ok, Moisés, can you try the last one? Sería, she buy expense clothes mm -hmm. if she go shopping. Yes. Okay, lo que le gusta hacer, va. Go shopping. Sí, pues sí. <ríe> She buys expensive clothes and she goes shopping. Ahí está. Ahí está. Very good. Any question? Hmm? A ver, let's repeat the sentences. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. If I wake up late, I'm late for work. If I wake I'll late. I wake up late. I'm late I am, for work. I am late for work. If my husband cooks, he burns the food. If my husband, if my husband cooks, cooks, cooks food. he burns the food. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, she gets sunstruck. If Julie doesn't wear a hat, hat she gets, she gets sunstruck. sunstruck. If children don't eat well, they aren't healthy. If children, if children don't, don't eat well, eat they aren't healthy. healthy. If you mix water and electricity, you get a chalk. If you if mix you water and electricity, electricity, you, you get, get a chalk. If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. If people eat too many sweets, they get fat. Fat. If you smoke, you get yellow fingers. If you, if you smoke, you get yellow fingers. fingers. If children play outside, they don't get overweight. If children, if children play, play outside, outside, they don't, don't get overweight. overweight. If you hit ice, it melts. If you, if you eat, ice, it, it melts. melts. If you hit ice, it melts. If you hit ice, ice, it melts. If I speak to John, he gets annoyed. If I speak, I speak to John, he gets annoyed. Annoyed. I feel good the next day if I go to bed early. I feel good the next day if I go to bed early. Lots of people come if Jenny has a party. She buys expensive clothes if she goes shopping. She buys expensive clothes if she goes shopping. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, what do you do? What do you do if you have extra money? What do you do if you have free time? What do you do if you need extra money? And what do you do if you wake up very late? And there is one more. What do you do if you are on vacations? So here we have a survey, right? What you're going to do, I'm going to let you hear uh, you choose a partner, ask the question to your partner. For example, if you ask Moises, what do you do if you have extra money? Um, I, uh, uh, I buy the shoes. What do you buy? The, the, the shoes. Um... Then he says, if I have extra money. If I have extra money. I buy shoes, you said, right? I buy shoes.
Uh -huh. Nice. A ver, Germán, choose a partner. Muy fe le puse. <laughs> Vaya, Germán, you choose a partner and ask one of the questions. Ahí la que usted quiera preguntar. Ok. Ya, y ahí vea a quién. Who will you ask? Um, Jessica. Hi, Germán. Jessica, hola. Hi. What do you do if you have free time? Uh, if I have free time, I want to sleep. Yes. You sleep if you have free time. Yes, <laughs> I want to sleep. <laughs> if I have free time. No shopping. <laughs> no, no shopping. <laughs> If you have extra money, yes, right, but free time. <laughs> possible, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Very good. A ver, eh, Miguel, choose a volunteer. Uh, voluntary. Uh, Carla. Carla is dancing. Carla there. Carla. Carla, María. Carlita, Carlita no ha dado señales de vida hoy. Carlita, ¿dónde está Josefina? <laughs> Norma, Maritza. Norma, Norma. Norma. Darling. Edgar, Eduardo. Hi, tell me. Uh, you need extra money? What do you What do you do if you need extra money? Uh, work much <laughs> work. Uh, to work extra time in my work. Mm -hmm. If I need extra money. Mm -hmm. I work extra time. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. who wants to ask the next question? Me? Okay, go ahead. Uh, A quien? Yeah. Ahorita, teacher. Veamos los afortunados. Waldemar. Waldemar, hello. Uh, Waldemar, what do you what do you do if you are on vacation? Uh, I uh, go to the gym and uh, after. Uh, Next 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 week I go to the beach. If I am on vacation, I go to the gym. Yes. Okay, wait. To the gym and to the beach, right? Yes, teacher. 
Ajá, who wants to ask the last one? Um, okay, ask somebody. Who will you ask? Somebody. Yeah, a quien? ¿Quién no ha pasado, teacher? Eh, Miguel. Ah, pues Miguel. Miguel, what do you do if you wake up very late? Yeah. Hello. What okay. If I wake up very late, maybe I I come. Yeah, I have problem in my in my job. Yes. You have problems at work. Problem at work, yes. <laughs> nice. I stand in. That's it, better. And we will complete the last ones. The last sentences. Check. Here you're going to complete. Remember, we use the words given, verdad? Aquí es when, when she. The first one, if I, if I wake up late, I am late for work. Oh, I am late for work. What about number two? My son. Barnes. My son burns the food if he cooks. Cooks a lot. Mm -hmm. If employees. Don't eat. Don't eat well. Don't eat well. They aren't healthy. They aren't healthy. Exactly. They aren't healthy. When she when she pays her bills. On time, she mm -hmm. doesn't have to pay extra money. Exactly. She, does. time. she doesn't have to pay. She has to pay extra money. Yeah, she doesn't have to pay extra money. If she, if the incomes. Are good, an employer mm -hmm. receives. A bonus. On the employee, an employee. Employee receives a bonus. Uh -huh. an em como solo dice un empleado. Solo a un empleado le van a dar. <laughs> el bono. If the incomes are good, an employee receives a bonus. Okay, number six. The we... whole world. <laughs> the whole we... world. ¿Verdad que así era? Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. We, ¿qué? We. We sell. We sell more products when we. We know. Mm -hmm. know when customer. we know the customer's, the customer's needs. needs. Ahí está. Very good. Oh, I see. 
listos sí, para, para sacar 10 en ese homework si no les había salido todavía. ¿Ya? Ok. Now, I'm going to call you and you tell me present, ok? Let me see. Bella Lisbeth. Bella Bella. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling. Dennis. Eduardo. Present teacher. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Germán Agustín. Present teacher. Jessica. Present teacher. Carla María. Kelly Marcela. Marcelo, Marcelo Blaimín. Mauricio Giovanni. Present. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. José Elías. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Pedro. Ronald. Sabrina Lisset. Present. Present. Present teacher. Present. <ríe> Tamara. Present teacher. Valdemar. Present teacher. Good night. Walter Antonio. Good night. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ok. See you, see you. Have a nice night and see you tomorrow, the last day. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night.